I just had to get over the Dominican Republic to see what all the fuss was about. I read the Reddit forums, I saw the YouTube videos, a lot of guys rave about the DR, and now I can see why. What's up guys, I'm Eric with Roaming Romances, and in this video I'm going to give my impression of the Dominican Republic, the women and the dating, offer some clear tips for you guys, and cover my safety considerations coming from a white green girl like myself. And please let me know your experiences and questions on the DR. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section. So the women in DR exceeded my expectations both from a look standpoint and a personality standpoint. And I feel like a broken record here, but you know, I've learned that everywhere I go, there are gorgeous women. I was just in Costa Rica, I met a Nicaraguan woman. Nicaragua is not a place I'd have at the top of my list, but man, I tell you, she was gorgeous. There are beautiful women everywhere, and especially in the DR. The women that I encountered were very sweet and nice. There's a very heavy African influence in their blood, a lot of red bone beauties. Some were very thick and curvy, while others were more my type, you know, the tall, slender, with uh, flat stomachs, but still have curves. And that's what really surprised me about the DR. I don't know why I thought it would be a lot harder to find my type but there were plenty. And I found the majority of Dominican women to be very friendly and very interested in meeting foreign men, perhaps more than any Latin American country I've been to. And one of the great things about the DR compared to a Colombia or a Brazil is that it's a pretty small country. Therefore, it is really easy to get all the way around the country using the bus system without needing to take expensive airplane flights, you can get pretty much anywhere in just a four hour bus ride. So I started in the capital of Santo Domingo, and then I went to Punta Cana, I came back to Santo Domingo, and then I went to Sasua, and then I left again, left the country from Santo Domingo, all using that convenient and cheap bus system to get around. For meeting women, I'd probably say Santo Domingo or Santiago de los Caballeros, or the provinces are probably the best places to meet good Dominican women. Although the drawback to Santo Domingo is that, have you ever seen the Discovery Channel where the, there's a gazelle that's eating grass, but the lions are creeping up on it? At times, I felt like the gazelle in Santo Domingo. It doesn't feel like a very safe place, except for the Zono Colonial in Santo Domingo. That's a very historical section of town, very safe with buildings from the Christopher Columbus days. I found it really interesting. I love the Zona Colonial, but when you get out of the area, it starts getting kind of sketchy. And even my Dominican friend that I made said, yeah, you don't want to go walking around outside of there. So remember, no dar papaya, wear nothing expensive, watch your six, don't use your cell phones on the sidewalk type of things. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos and I've got new videos coming out from all over the world. I've got videos of Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines, Colombia, Brazil, and soon to be Costa Rica. And during my trip, I actually started a Reddit post asking guys, where's the best places to meet good quality Dominican women? And surprisingly, the majority actually said Santiago de los Caballeros. I didn't have time to get over there on this trip, but thought that was interesting and worth sharing with you guys. And many other guys recommended the provinces, you know, that's the countrysides outside of the cities. And, you know, honestly, in every country I've been to, it seems like the best women usually come from the provinces. They're kind, sweet, and friendly, and caring. Sasua. Okay, there is no dating in Sasua, okay? There's a lot of really beautiful women there that you can date by the hour, so to speak, and that's pretty much it. Some of the women there are actually from Haiti, I know why guys really like Sasua. I will probably never be back there in my life. It's not my type of place, but hey, that leaves more for you. Sasua does have wonderful food. I stay at the Las Palmeras where the chicken and waffles is. Absolutely recommend the food there. It was amazing, I loved it. Punta Cana, it's very touristy. I think it's very unlikely to meet a woman there if you don't bring one. So yes, bring sand to the beach, baby. There are a few for hire, I think, but you know, I brought a woman with me there to Punta Cana. Amazing beaches, a little overpriced. Many people actually stay in the all-inclusive resorts. There's a whole bunch of them for like, you know, $300 a night. Instead, I stayed in an Airbnb that was $60 a night. It was just a block away from the beautiful 
Bavaro Beach area. And for online dating, you know, Tinder and Bumble always work great across the world. They're kind of king. But I'm still a fan of the Cupid brand apps. If you've ever been on Latin American Cupid, you know what I'm talking about. It seems like 50% or more of the women on there are actually from the DR. There's just tons of them. And they will fill up your inbox. So overall, I will definitely be back in the DR. Gorgeous women, gorgeous beaches, a lot of great food. It's hard to beat that. There are some safety risks that if you're smart, I think that you can lower your risk there. This was just an exploratory trip for me uh, to see the country and to see if I want to go back, which I definitely do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.